Hi everyone. Today let's start with the new topic that is pathology and laboratory which is 80000 series. Let's start with the guidelines today. This is going to be part 1. Watch this video till the end. Why pathology and laboratory codes are used? Codes in the pathology and laboratory chapter of CPT represent a wide diversity and describe the work of performing a test usually on some body fluid or it may be tissue. and all these services are performed by physician or by technologists under supervision of a physician let us look at the index of pathology and laboratory in pathology and laboratory we have codes for organ or disease oriented panels drug assay presumptive drug class screening definitive drug testing definitive drug classes listing therapeutic drug assays evocative suppression testing pathology clinical consultation then we have instructions for selecting a level of pathology clinical consultation services then urine analysis molecular pathology tier 1 molecular pathology tier 2 molecular pathology procedures genomic sequencing procedures assays multi analyte assays chemistry hematology immunology tissue typing transfusion medicine then we have codes for microbiology anatomic pathology post mortem examination cytopathology cytogenetic studies surgical pathology then in vivo laboratory procedures then we have codes for other procedures reproductive medicine procedures and proprietary laboratory analysis this is the code range to begin with let us look at the abbreviations and common acronyms that are present in pathology and laboratory chapter that is bac which represents blood alcohol content or concentration cr is for creatinine csf is for cerebrospinal fluid hct is for hematocrit hgb is hemoglobin mrsa is methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus psa is for prostate specific antigen ua is for urine analysis let us start with the guidelines for organ or disease oriented panels the code range is 800472800076 this is present in your cpt manual pathology and laboratory section page number 610 so what are the guidelines for organ or disease oriented panels codes in this section describe panels of tests often ordered together So these organ or disease oriented panel codes describe panels of test often ordered together. Second guideline is these codes are used whenever all of the specific tests listed under the panel heading are performed. For example, you can see 80047 basic metabolic panel calcium ionized. So to code this all these tests must be performed. That is this panel must include the following calcium ionized carbon dioxide chloride creatinine glucose potassium sodium urea nitrogen so all these tests should be performed in order to code for basic metabolic panel calcium ions that is 80047 so this is an example if you want to code comprehensive metabolic panel 80053 then all these tests must be included okay next guideline If one or more of the tests listed is not performed the panel code should not be used and the specific test must be coded separately Next guideline if more tests than those listed in the panel are performed the panel is coded and additional tests are listed separately For example if all these tests are performed then you will code this panel code and if any extra test is performed then you will code it separately Next guideline The codes for each individual test are listed beside the test under each heading. For example, here the code for individual test that is calcium ionized is 82330. That is what they are trying to explain. Next important guideline is do not append modifier 51 or 52 with panel codes. Please take notes. Next guideline Do not report two or more panel codes that include any of the same constituent test performed from the same patient collection. For example, these two codes 80047 and 80053 should not be reported together. 
because the tests mentioned in 80047 that is calcium minus carbon dioxide chloride creatinine in glucose potassium sodium urea nitrogen all these are included in 80053 you can check they have mentioned calcium total carbon dioxide chloride creatinine in glucose potassium sodium and urea nitrogen so all these test present in 80047 is included in 80053 so you are not supposed to report these two codes together that is if a group of test overlaps two or more panels report the panel that incorporates the greater number of test to fulfill the code definition and report the remaining test using individual test codes do not report 80047 in conjunction with 80053 remember to code a panel code all the test must be performed if single test is missing then you have to code all the test separately here are two important guidelines in pathology that is a clinical pathology consultation code should not be reported with an enm code on the same date of service and you don't need to use modifier 51 for multiple laboratory tests now let us solve a question related to organ or disease oriented panel read the question Brent had the following lab test calcium ionized carbon dioxide chloride creatinine in glucose potassium sodium urea nitrogen how should you report brent's lab work check option a 80048 80048 is for basic metabolic panel calcium total in that the panel must include the following so first is calcium total now in the question you can see they have not mentioned calcium total but there is calcium ionized so there is a guideline that when reporting a panel all the tests list in the panel must be completed so if one test is missing then we should not report that panel so in 80048 they have not included calcium ionized right so we cannot code 80048 eliminate option a coming to option b 80047 that is basic metabolic panel calcium ionized in that we can see calcium ionized carbon dioxide chloride creatinine glucose potassium sodium urea nitrogen so all these tests are included in 80047 so 80047 is the right code but remember that there is a guideline that we should not use modifier 51 or 52 with panel codes in this they have mentioned modifier 52 so directly eliminate option b in option d they have mentioned 80047 that is the right answer option c will be wrong why because in option c they have mentioned all these codes 82310 that is for calcium total and 82374 which is for carbon dioxide and all these codes they have mentioned from basic metabolic panel calcium total but in the question they have mentioned calcium ionized so we are not supposed to code all these separately because we already got a code 80047 which includes all these tests so we should not report it separately and also 82310 which is for calcium total is wrong so option c is eliminated i hope you are clear with it let us solve another question a patient had the following blood test completed as a part of her primary care physician's described metabolic panel Albumin, bilirubin, total calcium, total carbon dioxide, chloride, creatinine, glucose, phosphatase, alkaline, potassium, protein, total sodium, transferase, ALT, SGPT, transferase, aspartate, urea, nitrogen, bilirubin, direct, and hepatitis A, IgM. How should this service be reported? When you look at the options, you can find. in option c they have mentioned modifier 52 but remember we should not use modifier 52 with organ or disease oriented panel codes so directly eliminate option c now we are left with option a option b and option d in option a they have mentioned 80053 80053 is for comprehensive metabolic panel The tests involved are albumin, bilirubin total, calcium total, carbon dioxide, chloride, creatinine, glucose, phosphatase, alkaline, potassium, protein total, sodium, transferase that is ALT, SGPT, transferase aspartate that is AST, SGOT, and urea nitrogen. Now check in the scenario. They have mentioned all these tests, 
right so 80053 includes all these tests till urea nitrogen bu n so all these tests from albumin till urea nitrogen are included in the code 80053 okay and extra two tests are remaining that is bilirubin direct and hepatitis a igm so we have to code these two separately along with the panel code remember there is a guideline that additional tests should be reported separately so we are coding 80053 and with that we have to code for bilirubin direct and hepatitis a igm separately in option b you can see they have only mentioned 80053 but we have two extra tests remaining right so we cannot code 80053 alone so eliminate option b now in option a check the code 82248 82248 is for bilirubin direct in the scenario they have mentioned bilirubin direct so 82248 is the right code and 86709 is for hepatitis a antibody igm antibody so in the scenario another test is hepatitis a igm so that is also the right code and 80053 involves all these tests from albumin till urea nitrogen so these three codes are correct option a is the right answer in option d they have mentioned 80047 with 80053 but remember we should never code 80053 with 80047 because all the test present in 80047 is included in 80053 so we should not code 80047 and 80076 hepatic function panel it includes some tests such as albumin bilirubin total bilirubin direct but it does not include chloride carbon dioxide creatinine right so we have to report the panel that incorporates greater number of tests that is 80053 so option d is wrong i hope you are clear with it that's it for today in the next video we'll study some more guidelines related to pathology and laboratory series with practice questions so stay tuned